sickness, as most of you know, probably friends and family are also getting sick. So our Mary is sick today. So we are going to pretend with our children brains, imagination that our Mary is here. Um, but we hope you enjoy our rendition of Scrooge in Bethlehem. <laughs> to a night long ago in the little town of Bethlehem. Join us as we enter a dark room in the Bethlehem Inn. Here sits Ebenezer Scrooge counting his money, the innkeeper counting his money. As Scrooge is counting his money, his front desk clerk Bob Cratchit enters the room. Cratchit, don't bother me while I'm counting my money. Amber's room is full, so I'm charging them all of King's ransom. Uh, yes, Mr. Scrooge, but we have a couple at the front desk, Mary and Joseph, who have traveled all the way from Nazareth. Mary's expecting a baby. Didn't you hear me, Cratchit? Every room is full. But maybe they can share my family's room? Bah, oh, I'm going to throw them into the streets. <laughs> Cratchit and his family led Mary and Joseph to the stable behind the inn. They made Mary as comfortable as possible with the gentle animals nearby for warmth. In the countryside nearby, there was shepherd a great light filled the night sky. An angel appeared before them, announcing the good news. Scrooge, Ebenezer Scrooge. Oh, that's my line. They hurried to the stable where, where they found Mary and Joseph and the baby Jesus lying in the manger. Scrooge, Ebenezer Scrooge. Who's there? We are angels sent from God. Well, you scared me. What do you want? <laughs> Tonight, a child has been born right here in Bethlehem. He is the savior of the world. The savior of the world is a baby? Bah, humbug. Go to the stable and you'll find the child there lying in a manger. He will be a great preacher. He will feed the hungry, cure the sick, and, and give hope to the hopeless. Is what you say true? Yes, Scrooge, this is your chance. Go to him and be God's faithful servant. For all the coins that you have, none of them will matter in the kingdom of God. I will go right away. Make sure the baby is warm. Give food to his family. And yes, we will have a party to celebrate the birth of Jesus. <laughs> and on that night, long ago in Bethlehem, Oh, gosh. <laughs> the innkeeper Scrooge found a new life. He became a friend to all people and was a happy man at last. He glowed with the spirit of Christmas every day of his life. 